Hello, my loves. So I got a call to come into LV. It's very impromptu, but I'm very excited. So I didn't think that I'll be vlogging, but I'm just gonna see if I can vlog today. I have to take you guys with me. There might be something, so let's go. I'm gonna just have a look at some of the new collection and then just take you guys with me but what I was waiting for is actually this bag which is the on the go tote okay let me go into the change room and see if that's a little bit better yes so this is the on the go tote on me I wasn't planning to film today so I'm a bit more casual and yeah, I just love that the reverse combo. So that's what it looks like on one side. So this is what it looks like handheld, guys. And for reference, this is slightly smaller than the Dior book tote. I just like that it's got the shoulder straps. And I have to show you something. There is actually a small um, change. This is the newer version of the on-the-go. And I'm glad I kind of waited because let me show you what I'm talking about. So if we look at this edging here, it's actually different. Before it used to have all the, um, you know, piping, not piping, you, know, you guys know what I mean, a trim here. And I actually prefer it that it doesn't have that. So the leather has been folded in. Yeah, I actually really like it, guys. Could be really good for travel too. And then I have to show you, of course, the Jungle Collection which has been really popular. I do admit it is a lot better in real life than in pictures. But this is cute. I mean, look at the inside. I love this. I love the little pouch. How cute is that? And then obviously the white. Let me try it on for you guys. There. Okay. That's the orange side. Or tan side, I should say. And then we have got... The black side which i actually prefer so yeah if you're a never full fan this is very very cute just you know probably not my cup of tea but it's definitely much better in real life so it's worth checking out well the white's quite fresh hmm i don't know do you guys like the white better or the black quite like the white as well Okay, so this is the Neo Noe, and this is 2840 And then with the Neverfulls, guys, I've got prices, as you know, I always give prices, 2490 And then this little cute dinky beach pouch is 1140 But the strap is quite little, so can you kind of see? It's quite small, but it is very, very cute the tambourine and if this looks familiar it's because it is inspired by the vintage version this is so cute so it is you do have to do it up with a buckle and then if you open it up it's got a decent amount of space really like it and obviously you can cross body it as well so this strap is sort of pre tan so that's why it's not stark white and so the tambourine is 2450 this one is super super cute not functionality wise probably not so great but it is very very cute this is the mini boy chapeau and that's 2950 but i think i still like the regular size better but definitely do want to show you because this is super cute and i think you can also wear this as like a little belt bag too so this is a new style for LV. I'm not sure if you guys have seen it. It is called the Volta. And in terms of the leather, it is in the Torreon leather. So same leather as the couple scenes, you would notice that the grains are a bit more finer. So it's just, yeah, it just hasn't gone through the same process. Obviously you guys have seen the Miller and this is a relatively new style as well. Again, it is in the Torreon leather. Torreon is baby bull cut bull leather if you guys weren't aware and this is just in a smooth calf so the rose devance as you can see with this little part here it's just sort of like uh, named after a compass because that's apparently called rose devance so just a little bit of tidbit of information for you guys okay look at this little cutie I'm a big fan of the Dauphine you guys know that I have a belt in this which I highly recommend 
but this little version is called the Delphine Bum Bag BB. And so it does come with a chain, so you can wear it crossbody, but you also can, it comes with a leather strap and you can wear it as a belt bag as well. And let me just share the price with you. So this is 2570, so yes, very pricey. This is the strap that it comes with, and this is another version of the Dauphine Bum Bag in a bigger size, though, yeah, I don't really like this combination. This is also new as well. I do like the Dauphine in the smaller size, but I think I preferred you know, when they had the reverse mono a couple of seasons ago. But just to show you, it is a really great style. I think the silhouette is very classic and I definitely like the logo on this bag too. Some of the new ready to wear it's good because the stores quietened down a bit so I can show you guys a little bit more and then this section here the um, Neo Noe just comes in a different sort of colorway there in the Damia Ben know the name of this what was the name of this it comes in black as well multi-cart multi but I've kind of learned my lesson I don't as cute as it is I probably won't use it because this is also I think about 1,300 just to let you guys know but if you are a collector you might like it so I wanted to show it too and this is a bag I don't know if you guys have seen but it is called the square bag Okay, so if you hold it handheld, it's not bad. It's definitely different. Also in the Torreon leather, which is like the couple scenes, it comes in black as well, and the price is 4,450 Australian dollars. My only issue with this bag, so can you see when I wear it on the shoulder, it looks a little bit awkward. I feel like it doesn't sit quite right. And crossbody, it probably even, yeah. It really sticks out but I wanted to show you you know something relatively new previously this bag I think was made to order or a version of it but yeah I think it definitely it looks a lot better just handheld like this I really like this mini luggage BB in the monogram as well this mini little suitcase it is 4550 and this is its sister the vertical trunk and this one is priced at four thousand australian dollars and i'll just do a very quick walkthrough of the shoes that one there is probably the newest with the Louis Vuitton emblazoned. Just for those shoe lovers, this is always fun. Oh, sorry guys, the lighting here does not lend itself well to the shoes. And, oh, these are new. These chunky, I don't even know what they're called. I'm not a fan of those and they're quite heavy. The boots are not too bad. And then some of the loafers, slides, and then the sneakers. Which is, you know, I love a plain white sneaker. And these, these are actually quite light. I quite like that one. So we're seeing a very special piece here. It's like mesh, isn't it? It's a mesh 45 people? 50, 50. Wow, that is special. I don't own a keeple, but this is a showpiece, isn't it? How gorgeous is that? Let's just see if I can. So that is the size of the 50 keeple. For those of you that are interested in this, this is 4,500 AUD. Definitely a very, very special piece, but so cool. Great unisex piece as well. Thank you. 
For the boys, I've got to show you the new Virgil collection and it's called the New Walker. Look at this monogram jacket. Look at all these little compartments. I think it's for like for card holders and even on the back. Oh, this is heavy. <laughs> That's even a toiletry 26. Oh my goodness. Look at all these sort of prints. And I've been told that it's sort of inspired by New York. And with Virgil, he's thinking in terms of the collection for the men's. It's all sort of like all loose and comfortable. And this is just another silk shirt. So that was the inspiration there. Very, very different. Oh, I do quite like this little pochette. So it's sort of, yeah, like the luggage, but a, a sort of like a clutch. I guess and then this I believe is a bag or messenger bag that's nice again unisex pieces and then you've got this very very cool backpack here as well so if you look at the clothing here see what I mean it's very more drapey loose a lot of greys this is a hoodie yeah. For boys, this is the popular LV initials belt in different finishes. And then going down, oh, that's definitely new, that buckle. But yes, hubby's favorite is definitely the LV initials belt because it is reversible. But he picked, he picked one that was a little bit different. So it had burgundy and navy. I really do like the Logo Mania scarf in the Jungle Collection. I feel like this is very neutral. A little bit of leopard is so cute. This is 940 Australian dollars. Look at this little um, keychain of the Jungle. I love that it's got a little baby version attached to. I'm such a fan of the Vivienne. I cannot wait till the Christmas edition comes out. Yeah, so love this, love this scarf as well. How beautiful is this tweed dress? I'm a huge fan of tweed and look at this like broken glass on the pockets. I love it. And then she's carrying a little mini Boyd chapeau in the patent. Just like to show you what's on there. And then this is the jacket. I think in the women's wear range, definitely 80s inspired can see with the exaggerated shoulders so that is what the mannequin is wearing guys I stayed till close I did not expect to get quite a few things I cannot wait to share with you if you did enjoy this impromptu vlog don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you really soon in my next vlog bye guys